Good morning, everybody. Well, the day has come. It's time for us to take a trip in the motorhome, and so I invite you along, and let's uh, let's go do some camping. Let's go. Yep, we're going to go camping again, folks. It's time to go today to Thousand Trails. And uh, first of all, I just want to thank everybody for uh, all the well wishes and all of the all of the prayers that were sent our way um, concerning Nana. And, um, you know, it's been about a month right now since she passed. And um, uh, time does heal wounds. And so today, uh, Sydney and I, Sydney, there's Sydney. She's uh, my, my daughter. We're uh, we're gonna get this rig over to Thousand Trails and uh, planning on spending the week over there. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And Lulu and I are gonna see uh, just how well we get along this week. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Thousand Trails, everybody. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Coming out here to do a little relaxation in the sun. We made it. We got over here today, and we've got the whole place all set up here. We've got. Lulu down here in the down here in her cage. Say hello, Lou. Hello. Can you say hello to everybody? Well, she's not too talkative today, but uh, you might recognize this spot. The last time I did a review on Thousand Trails, we went to the exact the exact same place, and uh, we're in the exact same camping site. And so uh, here we are. So let me kind of take you around here a little bit and show you. We have, uh, of course, the rig in Sydney. We got our picnic table set up here, and uh, we have the TV going. Got a nice. Uh, let's see here. We got a nice fire ring right here. No firewood yet, but. Uh, we do have it and we're all set up to do some grilling a little bit later whenever whenever the time hits and we're sitting back here at our our site we had a little bit of trouble earlier because we had to uh, charge up the, uh, the level levelers a little bit because they uh, it was about a quart low on on fluid, but once we got that in there, everything worked just fine. Uh, also, by the way, just to give a little shout out to Ronnie Wolf up in Chaudrant to let you know, Ronnie, that uh, I mean here it is today. It's uh, now, mind you, the temperatures here are not super hot yet, but when your air conditioner kicks on. This rig cools out real, real fast. So, thank you so much for your efforts in getting this thing fixed. And we're going to uh, just enjoy this trip. And uh, as things go along this week, we'll be sure to share with everyone. And uh, let's just kind of see where where things go. Good morning, everybody. So today we're getting out here. We're gonna getting up here at uh, Thousand Trails. I'm gonna get out here and check out this beautiful, beautiful morning. Taking the dog for a walk, me and Lou. There we go. So we're approaching the end of March here, and it's, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the end of April, and uh, Houston, and this area has just about seen the end of the weather that we just absolutely love here, and that's that few short weeks we get, which is the transition between winter and summer, and uh, last night when we came in it was still uh, it was still in the upper 70s 
at about 10 o'clock. That's pretty warm in the evening, especially this time of year. But that also signifies a time whenever we know we're about ready to hit summer. We like staying up here in the G section of Thousand Trails because it's uh, still kind of has a campy feel to it. But uh, as you can see, there's the clubhouse and they've got their basketball court and uh, I guess it's a, uh, call it pickleball or something along those lines. Let's see over, well over here is the pickleball. But, uh, there's their dog walking park and I would let Lou off over in there, but I don't know that she would take to that very well. She's uh, she really likes just getting out on a leash and walking. Show you a little bit of the one of the local fishing ponds they have here at Thousand Trails in Lake Conroe. And since this is chronicling walking the dog this morning and <laughs> while we're showing the, the campground. I will show you exactly what it is that Lou likes to come to. There. She likes coming over here because as like most dogs, she is all off into, into smells. And uh, for some reason that dumpster just really drives her crazy. This is the... Uh, this is the G section I was telling you about, uh, where you can, they have 30 and 50 amp hookups. Um, there are some exclusive 50 amp sites over here, but um, you know, it's got the trees and still kind of maintains that campy type atmosphere as opposed to some of the places where you go and it's just completely paved up. And well, it's more like a place where they really don't want you to uh, Stay a whole long, uh, stay a long time. Nothing irks me more than to go to a park and uh, see where people don't pick up after their pets, because that really is one of the number one things that will just flat drive me crazy. Because uh, half the fun of coming out camping is to uh, be here and to. Uh, be able to walk out in the grass and enjoy the, you know, just enjoy the the land. And if you can't enjoy the land because you're afraid of stepping on a landmine, well, kind of takes some of the joy out of it. I will say that it's nice to be out here where it's quiet, nice and peaceful. You can hear the birds, and uh, it's good to get out here in the morning and take some nice walks. You know, aside from being able to walk the dog and being able to uh, just kind of come outside and sit around for a little bit and enjoy the day, one of the things that I have greatly enjoyed more than anything else so far this week is being able to uh, just kind of come into a place with still, still having all your comforts of home, but just having some time to relax away from the familiar surroundings of, of, of the house and the, always the thought of having to do some stuff out in the yard or taking care of this, taking care of that. But to be here and to um, just have some time to, to think and be able to sort some stuff out. Uh, that's really what this is all about, being able to sort it all out, you know, with Nana's passing. And by the way, we had a wonderful, wonderful gathering of people uh, towards the beginning of the month. And um, it, was, uh, it was just awesome to see uh, the impact that she had on the lives of those that she met. And... Uh, uh, I'm still amazed by it. I will always be amazed by it. Um, but that was such a good time for healing. 
that was such a good time for uh, being able to uh, live a part of the life that she had before me even uh, some of those friends showed up and it was just so nice uh, to get to see everybody and realize the impact that she had but also to see all those people who brought her along on her walk see her off and to uh, just rejoice in the fact that we all know exactly where she went Today we're going to go out and uh, we're using the golf cart. We're going to go around here. We're going to head down to the lake and uh, try to see about uh, getting uh, getting some video down there and maybe even some uh, some shots, hopefully of a, of a good sunset. We'll see. So, how's the trip been so far? All I can say is I'm glad I came because uh, this was a hard trip to take. This is the hard. This is the hard trip to take for the first time. Wasn't quite sure how things were going to go. Um, uh, number one, driving. Driving was going to be the was going to be the one thing that really would seem weird to me. Not having a physical body in the seat next to me as I'm as I'm driving over here. And mind you, it wasn't that far of a distance to get here but um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then getting over here, um, all I can say is, is that um, life has picked up and um, work has picked up and things are really, really keeping me busy. And because of that, um, there's just not a lot of time to sit around and wallow in misery. So, uh, and not that I'm miserable, because I'm not miserable by any means, but uh, I am uh, uh, here, and this is kind of the trial run. Um, you know, 
far as I'm concerned, it's this first one was a success. Uh, this was the one that we had to get over the hump with because Lou and I needed to bond, and uh, we've done that. Uh, Lulu has been a great dog. As a matter of fact, she's settled down quite a bit and uh, hasn't tried to take anybody's head off, which I'm really tickled about that. Um, usually I have to hold her back. Even with other dogs, I haven't had to uh, restrain her like I used to have to do. And uh, now she's, uh, she's just been a great dog uh, to, have, to have on the road with me. Um, so given all that, uh, I was considering at one time that if things didn't feel right, maybe it's time to get out of doing the motorhome thing, and maybe it's time just to do something else. But, you know, um, after this, and I'm sure after a couple of more trips, this is going to be, this is going to be the way to go, and I am really, really liking it. So, um, thanks for coming along on this one with me. I, I'm glad that you did. Um, you know, it's just going to be a journey. It's just going to be a journey from here on out. And um, uh, life still is here, and life goes on. And who knows what's around the corner? Because uh, you know, I just got a good feeling about things. I think things are really going to turn around, and um, things are going to get real exciting. Thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'll see you later.